Water Resistive Barrier, WRB, your first line of defense against water damage. Here's what I check to make sure it's doing its job. WRB goes on all exterior walls over the sheathing and the studs. And it has to be continuous from the bottom to the top of the wall. It has to be one layer minimum behind all exterior cladding and deck ledgers. To check it, I walk the perimeter. WRB should cover every exterior wall surface that's getting cladding, siding. And I look for gaps like this. This is not installed yet. And I look for tears or wrinkles like this or missing sections. Continuous means continuous, no breaks. Horizontal seams, upper layers over lower layers must be at least two inches. It's kind of like shingles, a roofing shingles that divert water down. Now vertical seams, there has to be at least a six inch overlap at the joints. This prevents water from getting through the seams. And around the windows and doors and penetration, well, flashing works with WRB to shed that water away. WRB should terminate properly at these locations, not just stop randomly. WRB needs to meet ASTM standards. Well, it's D226, E2556, or E331, or follow the manufacturer's instructions exactly. You wanna check for proper labeling of the product. Sometimes the WRB doubles as an air barrier. If so, installation has to meet certain code requirements, which includes more critical sealing, air sealing, and continuity requirements when it's doing double duty. Here's some common problems with WRB. Gaps at the corners. Gaps at certain transitions. Missing sections. Inadequate overlapping or fastening. And for deck ledgers, that WRB has to be behind the deck ledger board. And also check for tears that are not properly repaired. And why does all of this WRB stuff matter? Well, water gets behind siding. That's normal. WRB keeps that water from getting into the wall cavity where it causes rot and mold and damage. Poor WRB insulation leads to expensive moisture damage that's hidden until it's too late. That's why every home being built or renovated should be inspected by a certified home inspector. And here's what I focus on. Continuity, proper lapping, flashing integration, and material compliance. And I look for the details at the corners, the penetrations, the transitions, and where all those common problems could happen. Continuous coverage, proper lapping, good flashing, that gets the WRB all right and prevents expensive water damage in the future. So, Every house should have WRB and it should be inspected by a certified inspector.